Welcome to another riveting episode of Prepping for Tomorrow. Today we delve into history, to a time of financial despair and resilience that birthed the Great Depression meals. Picture this, the year is 1929. The world is plunged into an economic downturn, the likes of which have not been seen before. The Great Depression, as it came to be known, was a time of widespread unemployment, financial instability, and a dramatic decrease in the availability and affordability of food. Families across the United States found themselves in a dire situation. Jobs were scarce, incomes were dwindling and food prices were soaring. The pantry, once filled with an array of ingredients, was now a stark reminder of the harsh reality. The need to feed the family on a budget became an urgent necessity. But with every challenge, there is an opportunity for innovation and resilience. As the saying goes, necessity is the mother of invention. And in the face of this adversity families had to get creative. They had to stretch every penny, make every meal count, and ensure that no food went to waste. They started to rely heavily on cost-effective staples such as beans, potatoes and rice, combining these with whatever else they could afford. Meals became simpler, but they were hearty, filling, and most importantly, they provided the much-needed sustenance. These were not gourmet dishes by any stretch of the imagination, they were born out of the desperation of the times, yet they carried with them a sense of warmth, comfort, and a testament to human resilience. They were meals that reminded families that even in the darkest times, they could still gather around the table, share a meal, and find a moment of joy. These meals, born out of the Great Depression, were not just about survival, they were a symbol of the human spirit, the will to endure, and the ability to adapt in the face of adversity. They were a lesson in resourcefulness, a testament to the strength of communities, and a beacon of hope in the darkest of times. With scarcity came invention and the birth of some of the most resourceful meals known to history. Now let's uncover these culinary gems. Before we proceed, take a moment to subscribe to our channel, Prepping for Tomorrow, your guide on the journey to survival. We dish out content on prepping, survival skills, and history. Now you won't miss out on our future explorations into survival and preparedness. Starting our countdown, we have the first three meals that kept families nourished during the Great Depression. First on our list is mulligan stew, a hodgepodge of whatever ingredients were available, often thrown together in a communal pot by transient workers. The base of this stew was typically meat, potatoes and vegetables, but the recipe varied widely depending on what was available. This dish was a testament to the resourcefulness of those who lived through the Great Depression, making the most of what they had on hand. Next up is Hoover Stew, named after President Herbert Hoover, who was in office when the Great Depression hit. The stew was a simple, inexpensive dish, typically consisting of macaroni, canned tomatoes and hot dogs or other inexpensive meats. This meal was often served in soup kitchens and bread lines, a stark reminder of the harsh realities of the era. Our third meal is corned beef hash, a hearty dish made from diced or chopped corned beef, potatoes and onions. It was often served for breakfast, providing a significant source of energy for the day ahead. Corned beef hash was a staple in many households, not only because it was filling, but also because it was a clever way to use leftovers and stretch the food budget. These meals were more than just sustenance. They were a symbol of resilience, of making do with what was available, of the human spirit's ability to adapt and persevere in the face of adversity. These dishes were a lifeline for many families providing much-needed nourishment during a time of severe economic hardship. These humble yet hearty meals were a beacon of hope during dark times. Let's continue our journey. Continuing our culinary journey we're on to the next trio of Depression-era meals. The resourcefulness and resilience of the time shine through these meals, and each one tells a story of survival against all odds. Let's begin with the meatless loaf. As the name suggests this was a protein-packed alternative to regular meatloaf, made without the luxury of actual meat. Instead, the primary ingredients were lentils, rice, and an assortment of vegetables, all bound together with breadcrumbs and eggs. The mixture was then baked until golden brown. This meal was not only economical but also rich in essential nutrients, proving that you don't always need meat to make a hearty meal. Next, we have the dandelion salad. Yes, you heard it right. During the Great Depression, nothing was wasted, not even the common dandelion. This unassuming weed, often overlooked or uprooted in modern times, was a valuable source of nutrition. The leaves were picked, washed, and tossed with simple ingredients like onions, vinegar, and a touch of sugar. It was a salad born of necessity. 
but it packed a nutritional punch with a surprisingly pleasant, slightly bitter taste. Finally, let's talk about fried potatoes with onions. This was a common meal at the time, primarily because potatoes and onions were relatively inexpensive and could be stored for long periods. The preparation was as straightforward as the name suggests. Potatoes and onions were sliced and then fried until crispy and golden. This simple meal was filling, comforting, and most importantly, affordable. These meals are a testament to the ingenuity of the people during the Great Depression. They turned the humblest of ingredients into nourishing meals, using every bit of what they had. It's a practice that resonates with the principles of prepping and homesteading even today. Though simple, these meals were a testament to the resourcefulness of families during the Great Depression. The survival spirit of the Great Depression continues to shine through our next set of meals. Let's delve into the hearty and humble world of these dishes that stood the test of tough times. First up, we have Hard Time Soup, a dish that embodies the waste-not-want-not ethos of the era. This meal was born from the necessity to make every morsel count. It was a potpourri of leftovers, bones, and any vegetables on hand. The ingredients would simmer for hours, transforming into a rich, nourishing broth. Every spoonful was a warm reminder that even in the toughest times, comfort could be found in the simplest of meals. Next, we have the poor man's meal. This dish is a testament to the ingenuity of those who lived through the Great Depression. It's a simple concoction of potatoes, onions, and hot dogs, all fried together in a pan. The ingredients were cheap and readily available, making it a staple for many households. It's a meal that required minimal ingredients but delivered maximum satisfaction. Finally, we move to a sweet note with the shoe fly pie. This pie was a rare treat in an era of scarcity. Made from molasses, flour, and a crumbly topping, its name comes from the sweet filling that would attract flies which had to be shooed away. Despite its humble ingredients, this pie offered a sweet respite from the harsh realities of life. These meals born out of necessity have become symbols of resilience in the face of adversity. They remind us of the strength and adaptability of the human spirit, of our ability to make the most out of the little we have. They're not just meals, they're lessons from our past, teaching us the importance of resourcefulness and adaptability. These qualities, so integral to the prepper pantry and homesteading lifestyle, prove invaluable in times of food shortages and other hardships. So let's take a moment to appreciate these meals for what they truly represent a testament to human resilience and the enduring spirit of survival. After all, as we prepare for tomorrow, we can always find comfort and inspiration in the lessons from our past. We've come to the final portion of our journey, revealing the last of our 12 Great Depression meals. Let's delve into the simplicity and ingenuity of these dishes that kept families nourished during one of the most challenging times in history. Firstly, we have the humble biscuits and gravy. This dish is a testament to the versatility of basic pantry staples during the Depression era. Made from flour, fat, and milk, biscuits provided a substantial base, while the gravy, often created from meat drippings, added flavor and richness. This meal was not only hearty, but also economical, making the most out of limited resources. Next, we encounter prune pudding. This may not sound appealing to modern palates, but back then, prunes were a cheap source of vitamins and fiber. The pudding, made by stewing prunes and thickening the broth with flour, was a sweet treat that provided essential nutrients. Lastly, we have bread pudding. This ingenious dish was a means of utilizing stale bread, a resource too valuable to waste. Mixed with milk, sugar, and an egg if available, the bread was transformed into a comforting dessert or a filling main meal. These meals stand as a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who weathered the Great Depression. They remind us of the power of ingenuity and resourcefulness when faced with scarcity, lessons that are still valuable in our world today. As we conclude, let's ponder the significance of these 12 Great Depression meals. They symbolize resilience, resourcefulness, and survival, epitomizing the human spirit's unwavering ability to endure. The past teaches us important lessons for the future. These meals remind us that even in hardship, survival is possible. Until next time, keep prepping for tomorrow.